Well, did you know that today is National Lighthouse Day? Today, we are highlighting just one of the few well-preserved lighthouses along the Gulf Coast. That's right. The Round Island Lighthouse in Pascagoula has been a beacon for mariners for 150 years. It has survived multiple hurricanes and has undergone, un, undergone numerous renovations. WXXV News 25's Everett Gagne Jr. is live at Lighthouse Park in Pascagoula. Hey, EJ. Good morning, Ethan and Ansley. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. We are here at Lighthouse Park, and I'm with Jay Willis, Mayor of Pascagoula. How are you doing today, sir? Great day, EJ. Thanks so much for having yes, me. Yes, sir. No problem. It's so great to see you. Um, Mr. Mayor, if I'm not mistaken, you have a quick story to tell about this lighthouse real quickly. You know, Round Island and this lighthouse have such a history of pirates and military stuff and hurricanes. One of my favorite stories is from 1849 mm -hmm. when a group of soldiers of fortune gathered on, light, on uh, Round Island around the lighthouse and camped out for a month or so with the intention of invading Cuba and liberating Cuba from Spanish rule back then. It was uh, 800 soldiers, they were ready to go, and uh, the word got back to Washington and President Zachary Taylor sent warships down here and said, uh, you guys from Mississippi cannot be invading a foreign <laughs> country. So they blockaded Round Island. Mm -hmm. The soldiers sat around and drank whiskey and played cards mm -hmm. until they ran out of food, and then they left. But it's unique stories like that yes, about this sir. lighthouse and about Round Island that makes Pascagoula so special. Yes, sir. That is so amazing. Guys, that, I mean, look, you can't get that nowhere else, man. That, you got a whole story like that, man. That is amazing. Also, too, Mr. Mayor, uh, how is this lighthouse a symbol, in your opinion, for the city of Pascagoula? I think it's all about resilience. Our citizens have lived through so many crises and dealt with so many issues and the lighthouse in pieces being transported from Round Island back here to Highway 90 to where it stands today as a beacon of hope and resilience for everyone coming across the bridge into Pascagoula. And it's all about our culture and the wonderful people that we have living here. Yes, sir. And lastly, what does it mean for the tourism here in Pascagoula? Well, again, so many interesting stories abound about Pascagoula. We're a very unique place mm -hmm. with the alien invasion from 1973, yes, the abduction <laughs> right here on the river, just south, uh, just west of the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. The people here, the industries, it's all about people coming and wanting to hear our stories and learn more about Pascagoula. And we welcome visitors. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for hopping on this live interview with me. Reporting live from where you live in Pascagoula, I'm Ever Gagne Jr., WXXV News 25.